So today, I hope to give you an idea when you have a non-healing wound, what you're really looking at is a symptom and you'll be able to think a little bit more deeply as to what the root cause is that gives rise to a wound that doesn't heal normally. And by the way, I'm, I'm Bruce Rubin. I'm an, uh, I'm an infectious disease doctor and I'm board certified in internal medicine and undersea and hyperbaric medicine. So as I mentioned today, um, just a second ago, our goal today when looking at a wound that doesn't heal is to try to identify those reasons that our bodies are not healing a wound. And each of us are born with the ability, the innate ability, an infinite ability to heal ourselves. So the question is when somebody doesn't heal themselves, what's the reason? Let's look at what happens when you normally hurt yourself and you're healthy. Your body stops bleeding and that's a protein reaction. Protein is everything in our body. That's the biochemistry of life. So proteins talk to proteins and and then a clot forms and we stop bleeding. And then over the next three or four days, we have what's called an inflammatory reaction where if you ever had an inflammatory reaction, you know it hurts. It's redness, swelling, heat, it's white blood cells, and then all of a sudden the circulation gets greater. It's like somebody turns the plumbing up, a lot more volume of blood goes to that area so that injured tissue can be cleared away. And importantly, what's delivered is more oxygen, more protein, more water. Really simple. After three or four days, the next part of the process happens where finally things settle down. Your body, in like a symphony, knows how to taper down the circulation. But still, you have food, you have water, and you have oxygen. Very simple. So then, uh, after you finally get uh, the framing done where all the protein, it's like framing a brick house. That's what protein's for, not only for the reaction, but it's the structural part of our, our life. That's all I'm standing here, all I am is protein looking at you. Protein and water, you too, all of us. And that's what we need to frame the house, the wound. So if you have enough framing material, then the fourth phase happens, and then you can brick over it with skin cells. That takes three to four weeks. So if you have a wound that's not healed in three to four weeks, that's when you have to think about the root cause. What's going on? Where is this wound not getting food? Where is it not getting oxygen? And what about water? Three things that are needed for us to heal. Our body knows what to do. We just have to give it the right information. And if there's a problem, we have to find out what that is. We also need energy. Energy is part of this whole process. Obviously, nothing gets done without energy. And believe it or not, fat and carbohydrates are absolutely of no use metabolically for us. They do not cause biochemistry to happen, proteins, nothing like that happens. Carbohydrates are for quick energy and fats are for long-term energy. So it makes all that work.